We begin with the Education Ministry, who will tighten controls on sexuality education programs run by external agencies. Materials of these agencies will now be vetted, and some of it will be put online so parents know what's being taught in schools. Pull force with the details. Sexuality education is currently implemented in all schools, but over and above this, three quarters of schools have also hired external agencies to complement the school programs. Two weeks ago, the programs run by these agencies were suspended, following complaints that the teaching materials in the program run by the Association of Women for Action and Research or AWARE were inappropriate. For example, homosexuality is seen as neutral in AWARE's instructor guide. Following complaints from parents, the Education Ministry conducted an investigation into AWARE's program. Our conclusion was in general that guidelines were adhered to. There were not serious deviations from that. But uh, in response to this situation, we wanted to give added assurance to parents and the community that these, so we've instituted these new guidelines. Previously, schools had the autonomy to engage external agencies. Now, these agencies must be approved by the Education Ministry. The agencies must submit their materials to the Education Ministry for vetting this June. And the vetting process will also be tightened. Subsequently, the Ministry will also be audited the programs that these agencies deliver in schools. Dr Ng says the programs must reflect mainstream values, which means encouraging heterosexual married couples to have healthy relationships. Abstinence is the key message, but information on contraception must also be included. Parents will be given more details on the sexuality education program conducted in schools, with information posted on the websites of the ministry and schools by August. Dr Ng stressed that the program in schools must remain secular and schools cannot become proxy battlegrounds for groups with contending ideologies. What we must stringently and strictly avoid is allowing our schools to go the way in some other countries, for example in the United States, where different groups with different views try to square off and try to settle their arguments in schools. If we allow this to happen, our schools and education system will be casualties and be worse off. Parents can choose to opt their children out of the programs being offered based on their own beliefs. So far, less than 1% of parents have done so. For more on this, I'm joined now by Paul. So Paul, I guess the question now is, will AWARE be allowed to continue running its sexuality education program in schools? 